Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Death Note. Last time on Death Note, we had Guidance. So, uh, continuing on with uh, Misa catching Higuchi, uh, we sprung a plan in order to uh, figure out how to catch Higuchi as the third Kira, and figure out how Kira kills. Um, and we were kind of left on a cliffhanger of will they be able to do it. And uh, everything seemed to have gone to a gone to plan, you know. Everything seemed to have been working, but yeah, it, it um, hmm. everything seems to be working perfectly, which is kind of what I'm nervous about. Light is also a little nervous about it too, and we are just going to have to see how it all resolves in this episode, or even if it does resolve in this episode. I kind of feel like it will. Yeah, I kind of feel like we're gonna. Like, this is sort of the final nail in the coffin on the uh, Yotsuba arc. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. This is where I say no spoilers uh, in the comments. And uh, also, if you want to watch my reaction to this episode of Death Note, like always, it's not in this YouTube video due to copyright reasons. So what you got to do is head down in the description or to the pinned comment on this video and there'll be a link there. You go, you click that, and it'll take you to my highlight reaction where the footage is in the corner. It's all edited and nice and good. And uh, you can watch that and hopefully have a good time. And when you're done with that, you can pop right back over here for the discussion. So, yeah, we might as well see what's going to happen in this episode of Death Note. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, that is one less Kira. Now they'll... Now, because they've caught him... Because they have caught him... Light and uh, L... Excuse me. Light and L should be uncuffed now. Which will be good. And go back and... Unchain Misa. Poor girl. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, okay. So. But this does lead to the question, will Higuchi give up? Will he relinquish the death note? He might. Although, I don't know. He might not. I have no idea. Man. That, that was intense. And we didn't lose anyone either. I was worried we were going to, and maybe we still will next episode, but... Oh, I was I was terrified that this wasn't going to work. But honestly, despite a few maybe minor hiccups along the way, the plan did work. The plan did actually work. And that was the thing I was afraid of the most last episode was, you know, will this plan actually work? And yeah, yeah, it did actually. The plan completely worked, at least right now. We'll have to see... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so tired. Oh, that's the problem is that... Uh, Death Note is the first thing I record, so it's a little early in the morning, but that's alright. But yeah, I was... I was afraid that this wasn't going to work, and now things could go awry next episode, but... Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. But if we get if we get this Kira, does that mean that we'll get our Kira back? Well, because that's the problem is that it's like, okay, we got the third Kira, but the first and second Kiras have been gone for a while. You know? Like, we kind of need to get them back unless we're going to do a fourth Kira, but I think it's a little too late in the game to do a fourth Kira. You know? I mean, granted, I think, what is it, we have, like, 14 more episodes left, but still, you know, that's a, it's a decent chunk of episodes, but I'm not sure. I would kind of, I kind of want to get back to, you know, I, I want to get our Kira back, you know? I want to get Light being Kira back. Hmm. Man. So, they still, they saw it. They saw it, but they don't fully believe it. They saw it, but they don't fully believe what they saw. How did he kill, you know? 
They have the evidence, but and they have they they saw it, but they're not sure what to make of it. They they're not sure. Okay, to them it just looked like he wrote down Matsuda's alias. I assume wrote down Matsuda's alias in uh, in a notebook. That was it. And then you know he started screaming about how um, he started screaming that he couldn't. Um, he started screaming that he couldn't uh, get that that he that he didn't die, and they're like, okay, well, what? He didn't do anything. How is he supposed to die? And then, and now they know. I mean, they know he's talking to someone. You know, it can't just be that he's talking to himself. He's talking to someone named Rem. So they kind of know a bit about Rem. And, I mean, L has his suspicions. L definitely has his suspicions. And he he said Shinigami multiple times, you know? Because we've sort of tap danced around the idea, you know? Th they've sort of tap danced around the idea that, okay, well, what if this is some sort of other being that is passing the power of Kira between these people? You know? It's possible. It's entirely possible, but... Man, oh man, that... Oy. It, it it's tricky there it's hard to try to piece this together when you don't fully have an understanding of the shinigami and the death note you know it's hard to figure out like okay what what exactly does kira do and if you don't if you don't believe in the shinigami and you don't believe that this is somehow magic or something like you know how i mean granted it's like I don't think they necessarily believe this, oh, this is like magic or some sort of supernatural force. But at the same time, they do have to somewhat believe that because they know that Kira can just kill. You know? Can just kill and from afar, you know? So, man, oh man. Like, how... I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, we've done a lot in this show, haven't we? Like, I was... I was uh, the other day, I was, like, looking through uh, the, uh, the some older reactions, some of my older reactions to Death Note, and just, like, going through and seeing, like, oh, yeah, Ray Penber and Shokomaki, and it's like, oh, man, it was so long ago, I feel like, you know? It was so long ago that it's, like, it, the show has, like, changed, you know? Well, we've gone through so many story arcs, and, you know, it's only been... 23 episodes, you know, it's only been 23 weeks, so, oh boy, yeah, it is, it is insane, so yeah, okay, so, they still aren't totally sure, I think what, I think what's gonna happen now is, uh, they're going to, uh, they're going to arrest Higuchi, definitely, and, you know, they're gonna, they'll throw the book at him, the Japanese book, because we're in Japan. They want to remember. They want you to remember we are in Japan, where guns are not allowed. Must be nice. No, we're we're getting off topic there. Um, so I'm pretty sure that uh, Light and L will be uncuffed. I think that's I think that's gonna happen. Are we going to get Light back as Kira? I mean, maybe not immediately, but I I feel like we have to. You know, we have to get one of them back it, it, it might be interesting if misa got her memories back oh yeah it'd be interesting if misa got her memories back before l actually or l i mean light sometimes i mix those two up sorry that that could be interesting but i i, I don't know if they would go that route we'll, we'll have to see we'll have to see but they're definitely going to uncuff light and l and then and then now, I th we're definitely just going to have to go back over the evidence, basically. Go over all the evidence to see everything that happened with Higuchi and try to figure out what, how Kira works, you know? Which will be interesting, you know, try to have them decipher, basically, what's happening. Decipher how to kill, you know, how Kira kills. Which is interesting, again, because we know how Kira kills. Because we've been here since the beginning, you know? We saw Light in his first transformation into Kira. So. Oh, boy. So, yeah. So, they're definitely going to have to go over the evidence a lot. We're probably going to have to bring in, you know, a lot of different, you know, set of eyes to l examine this. 
try to come up with some ideas, you know? So, so yeah. They know... What they know is... Higuchi was clearly speaking to someone known as Rem. You know, it's not just that he was talking to himself. And they, you know, they completely bugged his car. There's no way he could have been talking to anyone. You know, like, over the radio or cell phone or whatever. So, he... They know that he was talking to someone named Rem. And they know that he wrote Matsuda's alias into a notebook. Wrote Matsuda's alias into a notebook. And, um... And then, from that... From that, he got in the car and started lamenting about the fact that Matsuda wasn't dead. So, they know that that has to be some correlation to there. And then, afterwards, they do know that he gained the power to just need a face in order to kill. I think L was, you know, I think L was suspicious of that. It's like, okay, well, if, you know, if he just needed a face this whole time, then Matsuda would already be dead. Suddenly, now he just needs a face, you know? So... There's something he know. They both know that he said something. He talked to whatever this Rem is about some sort of a deal. They know that now. So like they're base. We have to go. They have to go back over all the evidence and try to piece together some sort of. They have to piece it together, and these are pretty. They're not the greatest pieces. That's the thing. It's like you know they only have the tiniest pieces that they're trying to build this larger piece, uh, this larger picture from, and it's going to be difficult, so. So, yeah. Um, okay, um, so I wrote down the eyes. He did make the deal for the Shinigami eyes, because desperate times, you know, desperate times. He was desperate, he needed, he needed to kill Matsuda, Without, you know, before he could reveal who uh, Kiro really was. So, for that, he did give up half of his lifespan for the Shinigami eyes, uh, which is interesting. And it's also interesting when you stop and think about it, like, you know, when you look at now the three Kiras we've had, Light, Misa, and Higuchi, Misa and Higuchi are technically more powerful than our original Kira. But they're not as smart. Like, that's the interesting thing. Like, the two of them, you know, sacrifice half of their lifespan in order to get the Shinigami eyes, which means they become inherently more powerful. But, at the same time, Light doesn't do that. He doesn't take the Shinigami eyes, but he's so much smarter than the two of them are that he doesn't need them, honestly. The only thing that he would need would be for L. L is the one mystery that our first Kira has never solved, you know? So, that's the thing. But, at the same time, he does sort of like to play the game of how do I figure out L's identity. Honestly, to him, that is part of the game, I suppose. You know, it's all... It's, it's the great game. It's there... I, I guess... I guess technically that makes... Okay, I'm trying to use the analogy of Sherlock and Moriarty, but I can't figure out which one is which. Like, I, I mean, technically speaking, I suppose L should be Sherlock, and Light should be Moriarty, because, you know, L is Sherlock trying to figure out Kira. But at the same time, Light is also Sherlock, because he's trying to figure out his Moriarty. You know, he's trying to figure out L. He's trying to figure out his Moriarty. So, honestly, they're kind of each other. You know, they are both Sherlock and they are both Moriarty to each other, basically. So, it, it, it is interesting. And I do feel like, you know, Light has always sort of... It's always, like, been a challenge to him. You know, he, he takes it on. It's like, oh, yes, I will figure out L. And once I get rid of L, once I conquer the one known as L then the world is mine, you know? No one will be able to stop me. So, so yeah, it's it's all tricky. And because of that, he plays the game, you know? 
he plays this giant chess game known as Death Note. You know, he plays this giant chess game with L. Meanwhile, Misa and Higuchi, they don't exactly play the game. Like, Higuchi maybe plays it a bit more than Misa, but for the most part, the two of them, they take the Shinigami eyes, they basically just slap all the pieces off the board and say, fuck you, you're dead, you know? Like, they will just slap slap all the pieces off the board and say they won, whereas Light will go step by step in the longest game of chess ever until he can finally say, checkmate, you know? Granted, that also runs the risk. That also runs the risk of L being the one to say checkmate. So, it's all... Oh, God, it's all tricky. Okay. Um, I wrote down Sakura TV. Uh, the, the ambush at Sakura TV. That was interesting. I did like that. It's also interesting that if you wear a complete helmet, that I guess the eyes don't work? Is that... It? Um, honestly, they didn't... They didn't show, so maybe it's like... I, I guess it is you have to look at a specific face. That's why it worked on the police officer, because he he had a helmet, but he only had a visor. It didn't cover up his face. So if you do have something to hide your face, then the Shinigami eyes don't work. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Um, and then I guess that's sort of the only thing... The only part of this plan that kind of screwed up was... Um, was... The fact that he did escape Sakura TV without them apprehending him. And the fact that, um, I guess, honestly, he probably, well, I don't know. I don't know if he would have, if he would have gotten away. Uh, honestly, I think they still could have gotten him without the police intervention, but, but they did intervene, you know? They did intervene and set up that blockade, so. So, it didn't go exactly according to plan, but at the same time, it did work out in the end. So I guess that's good. So maybe I'm maybe I'm worrying over nothing, you know? I don't know, man. Um, I wrote down guns. We, we get some gun talk in this episode. Like, just a little bit, but it was interesting. So both, both Light and former Chief Yagami, uh, Mr. Yagami, they were both like, oh, no, we can't take guns. Japanese civilians can't have guns. Um, which is interesting. Hey, I learned something about Japan today. Um, that is interesting. And it's like, okay, I get it. I get it. They're really stubborn and they want to uphold the law and everything so they won't take the gun. But you're dealing with Kira. Come on, man. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad Weddy kept her gun at least. Like, you know, I think Mogi, I think Mogi still had a gun too. I don't know, but I'm, I'm glad she kept her gun. She didn't like, oh, well, I guess you're right, and throw it away. It's like, no, she kept her gun, which was good. You need that when you're trying to apprehend Kira. So, yeah. That, that was interesting. And also the fact that they just added in that, oh, Iburn doesn't like guns. It's like, what the f Okay. That didn't play a factor into anything, other than I guess that, that was to explain why he's not a good shot. You know, he doesn't use guns, so he's not that good of a shot. So that's why he missed. Well, he was aiming for the head. Like, that went right over Higuchi's head. Like, he was aiming for a kill shot there. Whew, that could have been... That could have been messy. And then the last thing I wrote down is one less Kira. That's it. That's the end of the third Kira. And I have to assume the end of the Yotsuba arc. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get some aftermath too. But this... I feel like this is the end of the third Kira Yotsuba arc. So... I, I'm fine with that. I, I kind of, you know, I want to get back to our original Kira. I kind of miss him in his devilish ways. Um, but yeah, that it will be, it'll be interesting to see, you know, how we get Kira, our first Kira back. So they have to do it, obviously. Yeah, they have to do it. So it'll be interesting to see, like, where we go from here. Like, how, how are they going to go over the evidence? Well, and here's something I'm wondering is Higuchi going to relinquish ownership of the Death Note? Granted, they have him. They have him. And... And they can, you know, throw him... They can lock him away, basically. They might even... Hell, who knows? They could probably get a death sentence on him for everything that he's done as Kira. But could he... Could he do it? 
it will he do it i don't i don't know like it would get rid of the death note but at the same time i don't know because uh, honestly if they arrest him they they have the death note again they will just have the death note so yeah i have no idea how like what exactly is going to resolve uh higuchi's arc basically i have no idea and i guess that's our question leading into the next episode um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Great episode as always. Um, really intense and, and, and terrifying, you know, just thinking like, okay, how is this going to screw up? And technically it screwed up, but it all worked out in the end and no one died. Thank God. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much that. Uh, with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Death Note reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.